Now it's time to get into the Naval Forces, Helicopters and Miscellaneous section. So for Naval Forces, the first question is, will the efficiency of large caliber guns be increased in the game? Often for now, medium caliber guns are preferable to Big Bang because of their rapidity. Maybe some mechanics like overpressure will be added, but only for kinetics, so there won't be a situation where a 155mm shell doesn't do any damage at all. The answer is this is also true for reality. The rate of fire with sufficient ammunition power is a very important parameter of weaponry. So not answering the question at all uh, when it comes to what was actually asked, but they are completely correct. Uh, when it comes to uh, smaller guns, generally they fire faster than bigger guns. So uh, the bigger guns, it's a trade-off. Do you want to have a potential of doing more damage with the larger shells, or do you want more fire rate to be able to kind of RNG the target down? If generally this did become a problem and the larger guns were not as effective as the smaller ones, generally what you would want to do is increase the accuracy of the larger guns, and I feel like with some of the changes they've done to the game, such as the general aiming mechanics, they have increased that. So um, that would be something to think about. But obviously, from their point of view, with this answer, they don't see an issue with it, is probably the best way of putting it. Are there any plans to introduce naval enduring confrontation, which is the most adequate and realistic naval mode at the moment on a permanent basis? The answer is naval EC has its audience and it's quite noticeable, but it is still considerably inferior to regular random battles. So for now, we plan to make EC available during the weekends, which is good. Um, it means that it can be something to look forward to for the week, and also at the same time, it can uh, be you know available for everybody to have a go at, but the audience just isn't there yet, as they said. And generally, uh, one of the issues that you have in game modes, especially if they're new ones, if um, they put them out 24-7, uh, queue times are going to be an issue, even though people talk about that not being an issue. It is uh, for people, uh, no matter how many times you tell people that it isn't. Just because you are willing to wait five minutes, um, even if you can't guarantee it's only going to be five minutes, many other people are not going to be able to wait or don't want to wait for five minutes, if not more, when it comes to this stuff. So um, at the same time, doing it on the weekends is really good. Naval EC so far seems to have a positive impact from the people that I've talked to. It is still a little bit buggy, but with more playtime uh, means more bug reports and hopefully fixes so people can enjoy it more. For helicopters, it was mentioned that Chinese helicopters were within plans for the coming updates for some time now. Is that still the case now? Are there any details you can share with us about what we can expect? And the answer is yes, our plans to introduce the Chinese helicopter tech tree were somewhat optimistic and took more time, but hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to introduce some Chinese helicopters. Well, that's really good. Um, you know, it's, it is nice to see, first of all, um, realizing that it was a little bit um, preemptive, I suppose, the announcement that they were coming. It's, uh, it's nice to always have... Uh, when people admit fault, you know, uh, even as a company level. Uh, so uh, for me, that's really cool. And then also at the same time, they are going to come eventually. It's just a matter of time, right? And also with all the Chinese community management controversy that had uh, that happened a little bit ago, hopefully now with all that stuff sorted and hopefully some better lines of communication, it should be easier to be able to push forward with these. And I'm sure they'll be here either this this year or next year. The premium Apache has been removed from the US tech tree, so when will we see a premium Comanche, a legendary helicopter, even if it was never used in combat? When will the Mi-24 Superhind be introduced? Legendary is uh, definitely one word for it, but the answer is in the future, most likely, with a smiley face. You've always got to be careful with the smiley face when BVVD cracks out that damn smile. Uh, he means business. Uh, so that pretty much means that they'll uh, be in probably next update, or at least one of them will be. One of the things is there's a lot of tech trees right now which are missing their premiums. Uh, some decent helicopter ones, you know, the American one, obviously, so they'll probably get one since a lot of Americans spend money on the game. Then also you have Italy, which is missing a lot of uh, premiums when it comes to their tech trees at the higher echelons, and also France. So next update, I'll be very surprised if we don't see some of those 
gaps filled, and one of them which I'm sure is prioritized is the American helicopter tree. And then we have the miscellaneous section, and it's will multi-threading be implemented? Currently 100% load of one thread when all others are at 15 to 20%, because of the wildly loses, because of that, wildly loses FPS and we get micro freezes. That is a, <laughs> that is a horribly, um, horribly uh, put question. The answer is multi-threading is already implemented in the game, but you have to understand that it doesn't always make sense in the game, and not always there is something to occupy a larger number of cores. Uh, when it comes to this stuff, I've heard um, the issues with multi-threading in War Thunder for a long time. I've also heard it in other games as well. And to be quite honest with you, I have no idea how it works, so I can't really comment on this. The fact that they say it's implemented in-game, I don't know whether that means um, uh, maybe it can be improved. I don't know whether it means that there are certain limitations when it comes to the engine and this stuff, but the, the main thing is I'm just not sure. So I'm sure somebody who's a lot smarter than me uh, in that regard can definitely give a better answer. Are there plans for a complete update to the game interface? Now absolutely all UI, all the fonts, icons in the game are outdated. We would like to see the interface in the style of the Snail Store, the Guardian Store, which has been updated about a year ago and looks very neat and concise. Don't use we, Tonto. Uh, the answer is yes, we have such plans. So when it comes to uh, the when it comes to the UI, uh, they have upgraded some of it over the years, but it would be nice to see that stuff. For me, when I think about it, uh, what would be uh, kind of cool is I remember when World of Tanks did their like 1.0 update. One thing they did is they massively improved the graphics engine. Uh, when it comes to War Thunder, you had obviously update new power. What about on the 10th anniversary, which is coming this November? Why don't they do a massive UI change to the game uh, to make it look nice? Still waiting on improvements to the profile, personally. I think stuff such as a prestige system would be awesome to see. Um, search functions, uh, when it comes to the service record, would also be really, really nice. Uh, and at the same time, my my service record is completely bugged. Uh, like, it doesn't show me any of my win rates or win percentages or anything like that for any of the battles that I've been in. So it's kind of all over the place. So hopefully they're improving it in some way, um, and hopefully... By the end of the year, we do get some uh, improvements to it, because when it comes to the game, the UI, the hangar, and also the profile are two areas which could easily be targeted for massive improvements uh, compared to the rest of it. Will trees and other bushes be subjected to more physical impact? At the moment, the artillery strike doesn't destroy trees. Some bushes can be destroyed by machine guns, some only by ground vehicle tracks, some trees cannot be destroyed even by nuclear strike. Can we expect some single universal formula? Clearing thickets, clearing thickets by artillery would be, uh, for example, very useful. The answer is trees will be damaged and destroyed by artillery fire and a nuclear strike destroys every object on the map. The universal formula, the bigger the tree, the more hits you can hold, or that more powerful weapon you need to take it down. So um, I think generally the way it works now is fine. I don't think they need to change it. One of the things that you've got to be super careful of, and this is something which happens in a lot of other games, this is one of the issues that Battlefield had back in the day uh, with uh, stuff like uh, the original Bad Company. If you add too much, let's call it levolution to the game or too much destructibility in the game, what you end up with is just a flat ground and what ends up happening is it's just a wasteland. It is a no man's land. If you go into it, you're just going to die because it's very easy to annihilate you. So you need a good balance between destructibility and also things being alive because you still need corridors for people to go down. You still need different passages. You can't just have one flat square and then go from there. I think generally when it comes to War Thunder, the way that it is now is completely fine, right? I think it works uh, really well, and generally I would uh, continue with what they have. Um, I don't really think more destructibility is required uh, when it comes to the game, especially since bombs and stuff like that are getting bigger and more useful every update. With the Wind of Change update, we received a new map Sun City, in which players could fight around terrain features like overpasses. 
In the future, could we see more viaduct and tunnel terrain and that could possibly improve the stereoscopic feeling of the scene? And the answer is it is possible. Uh, I mean, the, you, the, the way to have a look at maps in general when it comes to War Thunder is you need more routes to be able from, to go from A to B. One of the things that giving overpasses and also tunnels and things like that give you more opportunities to be able to go to those areas. But the problem with stuff such as tunnels or viaducts is you can just get stuck in them because you will have one person who will just wait at the end of the tunnel and then annihilate you. Uh, the famous scene from the Battle of the Bulge uh, film, which, you know, is quite ahistorical, but the train scene where basically, um, I can't remember the train driver, but he's driving the train to get supplies uh, to the town or city that they're defending against the German advance. And uh, a, well, what is supposed to be a Tiger II, but it's an M47, just sits at the end of a tunnel, waits for the train to get close, and then blows it up. That's basically what would happen in War Thunder when it comes to having these linear single areas, which is why you need a little bit of maneuverability. So tunnels are nice and everything to be able to flank, but also at the same time, they are also coffins. Uh, so <laughs> you've got to be super careful with that stuff. Um, uh, and hopefully in the future, they do utilize them, but not as the only primary way of getting to an area. Uh, also, uh, this Q&A was pretty good overall. They answered a ton of questions. Uh, as I said, very surprising that it happened at this point, but it's nice to see it. Uh, a lot of possibilities, maybes, might be's, but that's always going to happen when it comes to this stuff. At least it gives us a general idea of what to look forward to. So I'm very happy with this one. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Merciless Reaper, Jerry Provolt, Mega Dino King, Professor X1718, Orange Tail, Sakoshi Tiger, Teddy, John Ryman, Universe, Eugene's Terry, Ambrosius McClellan, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, Moxie B. Young, and Derek R. Barine, Lafouche, and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.